LDBC. This is, this is your boy Coach Sheldon Harrison. You're live, live, live on the Coach Sheldon Harrison Combat Sports Show Live. Okay, there have been a lot of y'all. Y'all, it's a lot of y'all asking, you know, what are my thoughts on John Jones? <laughs> oh boy. Let me, uh, boy, let me take a deep breath with this one. Because you guys know where I'm going. Those of you that follow this channel, you know exactly where I'm going with this. Oh, you know what I'm about to say. <laughs> You know what I'm going to say. How was Mike Winkle John going to explain this one? How was Mikey going to explain this one? I'm going to be looking every day for, I don't know, interviews or anything from Mikey. Because I clearly remember Mikey saying, you guys can, you guys can attest to this. Mikey said that Chris Cyborg... And yes, I'm bringing Cyborg into this because of all the hypocrisy. And I'm finna call out the hypocrisy. Oh, I know some of you guys, some of you, you guys that are scared to go live and, you know, you don't even want to make a video response. You guys. I know y'all gonna be mad, but, you know, I, I could give to, oh, up sorry, PG-13 channel about what you think. The coach doesn't care what you think. The coach don't care what you think. But Mikey, Mikey. How you gonna explain this one, Mike Winklejohn? <laughs> Cause you said the cyborg need to be clean for a period of time. You said that when a fighter gets caught juicing, you said they need to be clean for a period of time, Mike Winklejohn. How you gonna explain the main fighter in your stable coming up dirty, man? <laughs> How you gonna explain this one, Mike? <laughs> This video not going to be very popular. But see, you know what I like to do here? I like to call it out. And I call it out. Any fighter, any fighter that I roll with, if they get popped, I'm going to call them out. Any fighter. I don't care if I love them to death. You let a drug test come up negative. You let it come up because I'm going to tell you why. The reason why I'll call out any of these fighters that I support. Because your body is a lethal weapon. And when you give your body juice, now you given now you put your opponent in the ring with a loaded weapon, and that's a difference. But see, because it's a Winkle John fighter, I could imagine this will try to go away in a month. But y'all, I'm gonna get y'all thinking even deeper. See, I respect Greg Jackson. I I, I really I respect Greg Jackson, but this man. But this man, Winkle John, no, 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 hypocrite, hypocrite. And I'm not saying Greg Jackson is no angel. I, I'm, not, I'm not saying that Gregory Jackson is an angel. No. But notice that Greg Jackson don't say much in the media. Greg Jackson is about just doing work. He's not being interviewed all the time, running off at the mouth. No, Greg Jackson is in that gym building them champions. That's what Greg Jackson is doing. But this man. No, he said the cyborg need to be clean for a period. <laughs> okay. How long does John Jones need to be clean? And I like John Jones. But I'm, I'm just saying, I'm calling it out. Because how many chances do you get? At least I can say that cyborg been clean for seven years. And now he go to other part of this video that I know. Some of you, some of you, uh, some of you flaming fanboys. Some of you guys, he, he go to the part that you're going to hate. Now I start to wonder, did Mike Winklejohn co-sign Holly Holm being sponsored by the people who got substances on the banned substance list? I wonder if he co-signed that because you know, I want y'all to know something. Holly Holm don't do much in her career without Mike Winklejohn's co-sign. I'm just here to let y'all know that. What's really going on in that particular camp? What's going on? But I do know this. Hypocrisy is going to get you nowhere. See, now this whole thing has backfired on Winkle John. It's backfired. But will we hear a retraction? No, we probably won't. And you know, John Jones, I'm one of those guys, I'm about giving people a, a thousand chances. I deal, I'm in the business of giving kids a thousand chances, but you're not a kid, you're a grown man. You're a grown man. 
You are a grown man, John Jones. And, and, and whether you like it or not, you know what? Society going to try to dog you out. I'm not. Because I know what it is. I know how the media portray people like John Jones. I know what they try to do. I ain't finna sit here and dog him out. I'm disappointed. I'm disappointed. But for Dana White, with his crispy whisker biscuit ball head, for him to say, where's well, career over? Oh, it's over, but, you know, uh, Brock Lesnar, oh, he was all happy. Oh, he was ready to get Brock Lesnar back. I mean, how many times has Brock Lesnar popped? I'm just saying. But it's almost like it was a, a, a breath of fresh air that John Jones is out of his hair. Oh, sorry, he ain't got no hair, sorry. <laughs> what the heck was I thinking? He has no hair. But, I mean, guys, you got to know this, okay? You, you got to know. You got to know this. <laughs> They gonna be on John Jones, okay? They're gonna be on John Jones like like I don't know, like like a koala bear is on eucalyptus leaves. They're gonna be on John Jones like crazy. But look at all these other people that get a pass. Watch, watch these next few months how the news media they're gonna rip into John Jones. Heck, just like they've been ripping into Chris Cyborg for the last seven years. And the girl ain't came up dirty. In a minute, seven years ago, she served her suspension, got it, got herself clean, but they still can't let it go. I wonder why. You see, the media, the media, they're going to have a field day with this one. But then you got fighters like Jessica Panay, who, you know, <laughs> running around doing cosplay all day, but she, you know, a, a steroid hit. But the media will tell you. Well, Jessica Panay don't even look like she used steroids. Well, Jessica Panay is not even that famous. Nah, but because Jessica Panay is not famous, I, I, I guess that make it right. <laughs> what was I thinking? If the person is famous, it makes it right. We know that's an excuse. We know that's an excuse for the privilege in this country. We already know that this is an excuse. So what does John Jones do? Do you know how many other organizations they would have John Jones? John Jones could probably make six figures right now if he went to Rising. That's the freak show. They don't care what you do in Rising. You can chop somebody's arm off. They could care less, as long as you can make them some money. It's not over for John Jones. It's not over. And if there's a demand for John Jones, you better believe that Curly, I'm sorry, Dana White, you better believe that Dana White will scratch that bald head and be like, John, I'll pay you $4 million. Just come back and fight. It's not over. Dana White says that it's not over. Trust me. John Jones will be back. John Jones will be back, and that's how it is, you know? And, and it kind of is bad for Daniel Cormier, but, you know, even off Roy's, I still think John would have defeat, would have defeated Daniel Cormier. I think he would have beaten Daniel Cormier. It's just Daniel Cormier physically can't beat John Jones. What people have to understand when you use PEDs, is that you have to have some skill set in order for that stuff to even work too. Yeah, it's going to give you a strength advantage. It's going to get, but if you don't have any skill set, you're going to get beat up, Jessica Panay. That's all I'm speaking on this about. I'm done. <laughs>